Yeah, I forgot your dog bowl, that little collapsible dog bowl. Thank goodness I had a canteen cup for my boy. Because uh, it is kind of kind of warm if you're wearing that thick of a coat. One little more. That's a good boy. Hello and welcome to Guns and Gear. Man, it's, it feels good to get out into the woods a little bit. I'm here in uh, uh, the Great Dismal Swamp. Uh, enjoying a little time, a little piece of woods that uh, we haven't been at before. Me and Major here is with me. As y'all will probably see a little clip of him drinking out of my canteen cup because I forgot his little collapsible water, uh, water bowl thing. At any rate. Having a good time, uh, you know, I have a, some gear and a few knives and things of that nature that I really haven't had the chance to spend out in the woods, either work or illness or uh, just uh, plain downright weather has made it uh, very difficult to get out. At any rate, I want to make a few uh, videos today, but one video I wanted to go ahead and make was about a piece of equipment that I have had for a while and I have used quite a bit and I really like it. And that's uh, Dave Canterbury's uh, stainless steel canteen little cook set here with a uh, canteen cup and little stove thing and the canteen itself. You know, when it first came out, I was on a waiting list, actually, and uh, got received one of these things when they first came out, and I liked it. Since then, I've had an opportunity to use it quite a bit. It's, it's basically my day-to-day -day water bottle thing. I have one of those Maxpedition um, little gear slinger things, and, you know, this is the water bottle that I have attached to the side. You know, with uh, diabetes and stuff, sometimes if, you, if, you're, if your sugar gets a little bit out of whack, uh, you'll have like an unquenchable thirst. And it's nice to have that uh, 39, I think it's 39 ounces, uh, just, just under 40 ounces or around 40 ounces of uh, water. Uh, very handy, um, especially, you know, if I'm driving, if I'm caught up in a lot of traffic or something, maybe I'm at one of the gazillion tunnels that we have in this area and just kind of sitting still, right? At any rate, uh, I have used the uh, stove quite a bit, as y'all can see. It's uh, uh, it has seen its share of being on fire. Now, I have to admit that uh, one one of the things that I like is I have some alcohol stoves <coughs> that, uh, because of the way that the little jets are configured, you can't sit a, a pot or something right on top of it. You have to have a little space. And this has been for, perfect to use with those uh, alcohol stoves. And uh, not only that, I, I use it uh, with uh, campfires as well. And one of my favorite ways of doing it is I either just stick it, you know, on the side of the campfire or I drag some coals, you know, and, and kind of level it up so I can sit my canteen cup on there. And as y'all can see, the canteen cup has been used quite a bit all in all I think it's a it's a, been a very good quality set now the water bottle itself I have uh, really did some <laughs> some extreme testing that I wasn't planning uh, me and my wife are getting ready to go on a trip for a couple three days or something I, I don't remember if we were going to Connecticut or if we were going to uh, to visit her family um, or to Pennsylvania to visit the kids and grandkids, but at any rate, I had taken my water bottle and I stuck it in the freezer, you know, because I wanted to get the water good and cold before we uh, took off on the trip. And wouldn't you know it, I left it there. I left it there, and the, and the water bottle was, was pretty much full. It was full. And didn't think about it until we were hours away. And uh, there's no way we were turning it around to get the water bottle. And I was sitting there thinking to myself, man, it's going to just, it's going to bust that bottle wide open. You know, it's going to bust that bottle wide open because uh, I, uh, water expands when it turns into ice. Well, when I got home and uh, we got all unpacked, I went to get my water jug out of the freezer. And uh, there must have been just enough space. 
because it did not bust open. And I know a lot of people have been concerned about the, the weld or the seal between the two pieces here. And I can't speak to other people's canteen, but you can tell I had to basically, hopefully this is going to show up. You'll ha you can see here where this has uh, been beaten back down into shape uh, because it was popped out. It was popped out, and the bottom it was uh, bulged out, and I had to beat that back into place just so I could put my canteen cup and and stove in there so I could put it in my in my canteen cover. So I think that was one heck of a testament <laughs> to the seal on uh, these two pieces of metal right here. Now, there are some uh, things that, uh, that do concern me. And I know, wait a minute, I just had an idea. I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to see this or not. And I'm gonna try to shine a light in there. But in the seal, there are some uh, areas that are rusting right around that seal. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But anyway, yeah, that's a good spot right there. Let's see if I can get make that show up again. I don't know really what y'all are going to be able to see out of this. But there are a few places around that seal where it's rusting. And uh, that is of a, a concern. You don't want to have rust in your drinking water. Not real sure. I, that must be the solder or whatever the case may be that uh, is beginning to rust there. I'll let y'all know as I begin to figure out what's going on with that because uh, to be honest with you, man, this has really been a great canteen. Uh, it's very rugged. I mean, good gracious, man. I This was uh, fairly full. I thought it was full right up to the, at least to the threads um, with water. And I was, and it ended up getting frozen for several days and uh, popped it all out of the sides and out of the bottom. I had to beat it back into shape. Uh, the canteen cover, I don't have anymore. Um, it was, it was worthless, it was useless. Uh, I had nothing good to say about it then. Uh, that didn't change. I ended up getting a Maxpedition um, canteen cover. And that's, uh, I think it was 15 bucks, or tw it was 12 to 15 bucks on Amazon. And I never looked back. That's a, it's, a, it's a good quality uh, canteen cover and I really enjoy it. Uh, keeps my canteen cover on my little bag just just perfectly have had no issues so all in all the seal and it has a, a very thick rubber seal it is still pliable but then it's only been what about a year and a half but still some time has gone by I use this canteen uh, quite often I like the wide mouth configuration of the canteen I like the uh, larger canteen cup. Uh, one thing about the cup, you know, this is an older uh, design that has the um, handle kind of folds under like so. Okay, some people like it, some people don't. The folks that usually don't like it have used them and this little piece that slides back there has come loose sometimes when they've had their soup or coffee or hot chocolate or whatever in it. And that is something that you gotta be careful of. Now, a uh, year and a half into owning this or however long it's been, uh, have I had that happen? Yes, I have. You have to be aware of that. Uh, but if you're aware of it and keep it pushed down, uh, shouldn't be uh, any problems because it does, once you push it down good, it is in there good and snug and I haven't had any problems with it coming out, but if you're not paying attention, uh, it can work itself loose. Uh, the little graduations of, uh, of measurement uh, are still very 
legible even though this thing has been in the fire a few times and I've had a lot of boiling water in this and boiling soup and things of that nature it has not had any uh, ill effects on that etching and uh, that's about all I had to say all right folks uh, probably a little bit longer video than I intended but I had a few things that I wanted to share uh, with the Dave Canterbury canteen or wilderness outfielders uh, canteen uh, and cook set at any rate folks uh, I think it's still I still think it's uh, worth the money if you want a good quality uh, canteen set uh, especially one that's stainless steel at any rate thank you for watching and remember to shoot straight on the range and in life thanks